How you doing, Dan? I'm very well. Thank you very much for asking. Why don't you explain to everybody why we're here? Uh, we're back for more Is It Shit? And this time we are looking at the Tone Empire Fire Child. Fire Child? Well, that sounds familiar, Sean. Why have they called it that? Well, you know, Fair Child is what they're aiming for. Uh, it looks quite a lot like a Fair Child. I think it's supposed to be a Fair Child. Okay, so those viewers uh, out there that don't know what a Fair Child is, why don't you take us through the, a bit of history and exactly what it does? Um, it's it's a it's a classic old compressor that you, if you're lucky when you're working in a nice studio, you might see one in a rack somewhere. And yeah, they sound beautiful. I would sometimes maybe use it on the mix bus, sometimes on a drum bus. It's a beautiful sounding compressor. It's got very coloured sound. Yeah, they're very rare. They're very expensive. They're very nice, and there are quite a few plug-in emulations of them. Okay, and in uh, so, I mean, take us through the features. It's obviously a stereo compressor. So what have we got? Yeah, so you've got an input gain. You've got the threshold. There's an output gain. Uh, you can select the knee. Uh, there's a release time, and this one has a wet, dry mix control, which is nice. I always always like to see a mix control. It allows you to do parallel compression without having to set that all up. Mm -hmm. Um, it's got a side chain. It's got a you know filter, so you can you know let the the real lows through, so that your mix doesn't get squashed when you've got a low sure. something in the mix. Uh, and it's got what they refer to as um, where is it? It's a bias control, which if you mess with it while stuff's going through it, you can hear it reacting differently. I don't. I they used to write that on uh, cassettes, didn't they? I like. did. I don't think it works in quite the same way as that. No. But but okay. yeah. Anyway, but it's an interesting plugin. I, I will say, it doesn't really to me sound like a Fairchild. Okay, so that was my next question. You, yeah. Fairchild's colour the sound. Does this? It does, but it doesn't. It doesn't react like a Fairchild. I've I've I have used a, a real one, but not for a while. But I've used other emulations, and they all kind of do the same thing. I used to use one on my stereo bus just to add a bit of colour mm. because it's quite a nice sound. I didn't compress it much, but I would knock off a couple of dBs with it, cool. and it would add some character to the sound. I've got to admit, this doesn't work for that for me. Okay. It, it it's a compressor, and it works, and it. Okay. It, so two quick questions. How much is a Fairchild? Oh, Christ. Real one? Thousands. How thousands much is this? Thousands. This is $29. <laughs> yeah. So it's, yeah, it's it's very cheap. There's a 15 day trial. It's 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 a small company. They make a few plugins. Who's the company? Uh, called Tone Empire. Tone Empire. Cool. Um, it looks great. I've got to say. It does look like great. a VU. Yeah, yeah. They've done a nice job with, with the, the, the GUI interface. or yeah. whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. But I think the big issue for me, I mean, I've seen some other people review this and saying that they have problems with pops and clicks and all that stuff. I didn't have any of that. Mm. It, it works, but it just doesn't sound like a fair job. So, Sean, is it shit? Um, no, it's not shit unless you want it to sound like a fair child and then it is shit. It's just an all right compressor. The Firechild, not on fire. <laughs> 